Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an LM pilot and today I have some great news coming up from Navigraph and Simbrief. Now, hidden somewhere at the bottom of the latest Simbrief update, we got quite a cool announcement and Simbrief actually is working on adding takeoff performance calculations to their services and this is the picture that they have shared in their announcement. Now, let's go over what we have over here, but let me add a little preface that there has not been any official information released on exactly what's going to be in there, other than that it is going to be part of the free Simbrief services that Navigraph is offering. To make it a little bit more complete, they said that they are pleased to announce their ongoing development of takeoff and landing calculation capabilities within Simbrief, their freeware flight planning software. The ability to perform takeoff and landing calculations will allow you to simulate with greater precision and realism. Keep an eye out for further updates in the coming weeks. Now let's go ahead and analyze exactly what we can see over here. Now on the left side you can see that this has been added to the performance and tools tab or rather that new tab has been introduced on Simbrief together with the rest of the tabs. Now that together with the fact that Navigraph emphasizes in their announcement that this is going to be part of the free Simbrief software does suggest to me that this feature is indeed going to come to you free of charge. Now let's have a closer look at the different parts of the software and we're going to start with the input window that you have over here. So first of all at the top you've got that button populate from last flight so it looks to me like you can quickly import your previous Zimbrief generated flight plan data into the tool. Now Below that we however can't see all the standard data that you would expect in a takeoff performance calculator like you can choose the aircraft type, the version of the airframe, even though that is going to be interesting because obviously we do have different engine versions available per aircraft and the way it is currently implemented it is going to be interesting to see how they're going to handle for example the CFM and the IAE engines on the A320 as well as the um, three different engine versions available for the 777-200ER. So that is going to be quite interesting to see how they are going to do that. Now the rest of the input data then of course cons uh, consists of the airport and the runway and the next one shorten length is probably going to f be a feature that is going to allow you to select a certain intersection for your takeoff calculation. Now going on below then we basically see the standard stuff that you have in any good performance calculator and we even have the stuff that you see in great performance calculators with for example the improved climb calculations. Something I do miss though at the moment, especially for Boeing aircraft on the A320 it would not be that relevant, however on the large wide body Airbuses it would, would be to differentiate between flex or assumed temperature but also fixed D rates. So in um, Boeing aircraft and in the wide body Airbuses you have the ability to not only enter a flex temperature or an assumed temperature as Boeing calls it but also a fixed D rate or a combination thereof and this does currently not seem to be there as far as I can see that is of course assuming that it is not hidden underneath the thrust settings menu that you can see set to optimum in the third line down there. But it's going to be interesting to see how they are going to handle the combination of assumed temperature and a fixed D rate. Now going on from there we also have improved climb calculation capability which is also going to be a neat feature that many flight sim performance calculators don't really offer. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the output window then and this is what it looks like in a little bit of an enlarged size from the screenshot that they have provided. Now we do of course have all that standard stuff down there that you would assume but have a look at the top right of the window. You can see both a formatted as well as a raw output button. Now that kind of makes me hopeful that the raw data output will be available for developers via an API so that it might get easy for developers to just pull the Simbrief takeoff and landing calculations into their EFBs and link them over there. 
that would be pretty handy, seeing that at the moment many flight sim developers, now pretty much all except for Leonardo, PMDG and Phoenix if I'm not mistaken, don't offer detailed performance calculations in their EFBs, but in many cases, like for example the Inibuilds A300, only basic performance capabilities. So with a bit of luck, SimReef will make it possible for developers to enhance that and maybe pull the data from SimReef. Now, going over the rest of the results, then you can see that in the results there we do have the um, derated take of two thrust setting together with an assumed temperature of 48 degrees. So this is what I've been referring to earlier on in regards to the combination capabilities that we might get in Simri. For example, will you be able to decide whether you want to prioritize a higher flex temperature or a higher fixed D rate? Now, these are all things that in the real world, the airline performance departments get to decide and not the pilots. So it's really just looking very deeply under the hut here from my side. But obviously when a new performance calculator comes out and especially seeing how incredibly awesome the SimBrief tool is already, this is the kind of stuff that I'm thinking about. Now, on top of that, we do get a little bit of uh, basic information at the bottom about the runway. It's going to be interesting to see if they are going to add intersections to that, but looking at the first window that we just about had a look at, we do have only the ability to shorten the runway length, but I couldn't see any intersection menu there. However, I do have to add to that that in many performance tools in the real world, especially in the Airbus tools, you basically select the intersection from the runway menu. So it would say something like runway 07 right Lima 3, just to give an example there. So, well, that is going to be interesting to see how that is going to turn out. Now, let's have a look at the third window then, and that's this one over here. And this is a graphical representation of the runway data. Now, this looks very similar to the output provided in the Boeing onboard performance tool. And it just gives you a quick summary and a visual representation of what your, of what your airplane is actually going to do. Now... What I really like is that it adds the margin, so the um, stop margin to the top, and that's a pretty cool feature that we desperately need. Now, funnily enough, the entire window, while the output of the numbers currently reminds me a little bit of the Boeing output, the entire layout of the window itself more seems to be oriented towards the Airbus performance tool rather than the Boeing tool. But that's just... a small thing that I do notice over here. In total, this seems pretty promising and I'm pretty sure that SimReef are going to strike once again with these things and just create another revolution in the flight simming community with this. When the SimReef software first came out, like over 10 years ago, it was an awesome flight planning software and I have a feeling that they are really bringing up the next big thing over here with their performance calculators. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope that you found this one interesting. If it did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'm very much looking forward to that. All I can say for now is that this looks really promising and I'm looking forward to keeping you guys up to date on it and I will for sure give you more information as it becomes available and ultimately once it comes out, I'm very sure I'm going to do a tutorial on it as well. So, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you liked this one. Be sure to leave a comment to let me know what you think about these developments. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're up for more. Finally, if you really love what I'm doing over here, would appreciate a small donation to Simbrief. So, please do make your donations to Simbrief. And with that, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. See you all again on the next one.